Hey, how's it going, everybody out there in YouTube land? This is Roy, aka Horizon Guy, and my eBay store is Horizon Picks. This is an eBay sales update video for about the last two months, uh, going back to September 15th to about, about last week or so. I have about uh, 60 plus items. I want to get through this video in about a half hour maximum. Uh, I don't want to take up too much time of yours, but uh, hope you hope you enjoy this. We'll get to it. All these items were 30-day fixed price with make offer. Uh, I have a sheet here that I'll be uh, reading off uh, the best offer price that I took, and if the item did or didn't have free shipping involved. Uh, see a lot. Uh, a lot of people do do like to get the free shipping so i'll let you know uh because obviously that impacts the cost as well the prices you see are before ebay fees uh, there are ebay fees and paypal fees involved and let's get to it this is a vintage calibri lighter set i got this at an auction for four dollars uh, this took about two to three weeks to sell i took a best offer of 50 bucks plus shipping on this you can see it's a really nice in the case uh, it had this engraving plate with it um, pretty much of a, a mint uh, mint piece next up are the sketchers shape ups i've sold about three or four pairs of these over this past you know the warmer months uh, these sketches, I didn't uh, have anything into these. These were given to me for from a friend. I uh, took a best offer of 30 bucks plus shipping on these. And like I said, I uh, didn't have anything in it. I've sold the sneakers a few different times. Um, but these boots, they, they sold pretty quickly uh, within a week or so. Metal Militia. This is a, a part of a clothing lot that I purchased from uh, a friend. Uh, it was uh, a large lot of over 100 pieces, um, and I'm just starting to get into some of the, the this brand, Metal Militia's, uh, it's kind of a skateboard, skater type brand. Uh, this was a, a fur-lined a fur hoodie. I uh, took a best offer of $54 uh, plus shipping on this. You see, they, it's, uh, it went in a priority uh, flat mail. So I probably only had... Very little, very little into this piece. These are Birkenstock Papilio. They're uh, sandals. I got these at the Salvation Army on a half off day. I paid, I believe, $1.50 for these. Uh, I took a best offer. The, the buyer on these actually kind of, you know, started really low and we were kept met, meeting in the middle, meeting in the middle, and eventually he got these for a best offer of $35. Uh, plus, you see, again, the, the flat rate shipping on that. Uh, and, um, you know, probably could have gotten more for these if I held out, but I uh, was happy to move those along. Hey, it's Golden State Warriors. This is a vintage 1990s. These are those uh, kind of puffer jackets that people wore. This is also the old Golden State uh, branding and logo. Uh, I sold this, I believe this was after... Uh, you know, the basketball season was over, but the Warriors have a really good following. I knew somebody would want this jacket. It's it's pretty awesome. Uh, and I uh, took a best offer at 90 bucks uh, plus free shipping. And I believe this did go coast to coast. This went out to California. Uh, so uh, happy to move that along. I got this at an auction. I bought three of these uh, vintage type jackets. Uh, one uh, is coming up later in this video. Uh, and I got, I got all three jackets for $11 a piece. Uh, so happy with the profit on that one. At that same auction, I bought this, this uh, L.L. Bean. This is a leather, leather pistol holster. Uh, took a best offer of $31.50 plus free shipping. Uh, this, th this I paid, I believe I paid four or five bucks at that auction for this. Uh, and I believe it did ship first class. It was pretty light. Uh, and it's a, it's a nice older LL Bean leather holster. Any more of these Hoven glasses? I'm actually happy to say I've sold out of these. I had 
about seven different pairs of these uh, starting off uh, about two to three months ago and I've sold out of these all seven sold this one I took a best offer of fifty nine dollars and fifty cents plus free shipping uh, these ship in a they're under a pound as they're light but they're a brand new beautiful kind of uh, uh, ski sunboard they're polarized lenses just fantastic sunglasses uh, and uh, did well with those this Tracy McGrady jersey, this is back, I believe, his high school team. Uh, took a best offer of $20, $25, uh, and the buyer did pay for the flat rate uh, mailer on this. It was pretty, pretty, pretty big, uh, big size for a big person. Um, but I, I got this at an auction uh, with uh, this uh, Walt Clyde Frazier actually sold that and I showed it in another video it went a little higher than this I paid three dollars for each of these jerseys so um, good on the, the 25 on that yeah, this Harley Davidson jacket I had gotten this about a year ago uh, two falls ago I believe um, and it just sat in, in my closet uh, dormant uh, kind of hidden away and uh, took it back out never really got around to listing it um, <clears throat> and of course you know listed it and within about a week or two I believe this sold it took a best offer of 50 bucks plus free shipping it, it did fit and it was pretty light because it was a you know kind of down feather uh, but um, really you know really nice uh, Harley Davidson stuff just as nice embroidered back there puffer jacket uh, so uh, I, I believe I paid at the uh, flea market uh, five dollars for this Hey, this Adidas this is um, I Never have a problem selling anything with this tree tree foil or three leaf pattern. That's the older Adidas uh, Branding um, on this item took a best offer of 2550 and they did pay the shipping on it uh, this I believe was a buy it now with my auto accept. Uh, I got this at a yard at a yard sale uh, for one dollar, uh, so really happy with that. And actually, it, it wasn't perfect. Uh, it did actually was actually missing a foot there. So sometimes on these vintage you know bags, you can still you know get a get a good profit even though there's some damage. Okay, these uh, small soldiers. Uh, this was a um, 1990s movie, pretty popular. I think I actually saw this in the theater when it came out. Um, but um, these are really good quality figures. This guy uh, on the left here talks. I mean, he lights up and he has sayings from the movie. The guy on the right doesn't, um, but they're about. They are from the same line. Uh, I got these at a flea market. I believe I paid five dollars for both of these. Uh, I took a best offer of fifty bucks uh, plus the shipping. They did pay. These fit in a uh, flat rate mailer, uh, so they're they're big. They're I think I don't know if I show. They're they're ten inch. They're about ten inches tall, so they're not your smaller action figures. Um, they did come with accessories. They didn't even have those, so. Um, you know, fifty dollars sale on my five. I was happy with that, but these are pretty, pretty easy to get. Um, that they're out there. Hey, this jersey. I got this at a yard sale. I bought a whole bunch of things from this family, and a, a few of these, uh, several actual uh, Pittsburgh Steelers jerseys. This one sold right away. It was sold within a few few days uh, at at the full price. Uh, with it with free shipping on that so this is also uh, interesting in that the buyer um, uh, had changed his address and made his payment and there was kind of a snafu there and normally I have to cancel and whatnot but the, um, you know it's always good to ask uh, if if the person you know can go back to the old address and in this case the person was it was just a, a couple towns over he was easy, easy for him to uh, get the package and, and no big deal. So, and he was very happy with it. So uh, sometimes, sometimes that can work out for you. 
these Adidas wrestling shoes. I got these at uh, an auction. Uh, I got a stack of these, probably half, probably five or six pairs of uh, different wrestling shoes. Wrestling shoes. Um, this these sold for thirty three dollars twenty five cents and free shipping. Uh, and uh, I believe I paid no more than five dollars. I want to say between four or five bucks. I paid for each uh, pair of uh, these wrestling sneakers. Panasonic, uh, this micro cassette. I got this at a flea market for one dollar. Uh, I had the the tape. I actually had this tape, which I added with it, so that you know it can be tested and the person can get it and make sure it works. Uh, the Panasonics, uh, these audio recorders do pretty well. Um, I usually always get them for about a dollar or two at the most. Uh, on this, and I did get it for the, the full price, uh, the thirty-seven fifty plus. Uh, the, and the, they had free shipping on that, and these usually sell for first class in the, in the mailer. Express women's faux fuzzy fuzzy jacket. Um, this uh, my fiance actually was getting rid of some clothes about a year ago at a yard sale, and then was going to donate the rest and we did but I did grab a few things and this I kind of tucked this away in the closet and uh, we were about to donate it again and I said you know what let me list this uh, and it did sell I, I, I took a best offer twenty eight dollars and fifty cents and you see they did get free shipping this did go coast to coast um, I think I was able to fit it in a regional box um, I can't remember I think I actually uh, might have ate some shipping on that, but again, a sale's a sale, and you know, got some got some money out of that, and had no money into it. This Harley uh, long sleeve shirt, I actually got this with um, a bunch of other Harley items at a, um, a big outdoor flea market yard sale at, at a community. Uh, this one did sell for the full price; it did have free shipping, and how that went in a. Uh, in a bubble mailer, I believe it did go first class. It was light enough, uh, so the th thirty-five dollars I paid. I, I remember getting a pair of gloves, this, and one or two other Harley items off a guy for. I think I gave him ten bucks. I sold the gloves. I think I had those in a previous video. I sold the gloves. I think for forty something, um, and then and then this. So, and then I did have a, a couple other items that are still up for sale. Ah, uh, these LL Bean lanterns. I I got um I got they both of these sold to the same buyer. Uh, they let me see at the full price, so uh, sixty sixty six dollars with the free shipping. I believe the shipping was only like less than ten bucks. Um, and these are you know working new. Uh, I believe I put these on promoted listings as well because I really wanted to move them. I was clearing out some stuff. I um. I got the full price. I believe I got these at an auction for five bucks for both. Uh, so uh, some good profit there selling both of those. How to Train Your Dragon. I um, got this at an auction, a uh, local auction that I go to. Uh, this did sell for the full price, $24.99. Uh, and the shipping. Uh, this did go through the global shipping program. So this went, I believe, to Europe. Um, <clears throat> and um, you know, people just, I was at the auction dudes just were like, yeah, that thing's disgusting. It's gross. Da, da, da. And I said, you know, I know, I knew exactly. It's from the movie. Um, and, uh, you know, odd sells and people like people collect stuff from that movie. So uh, I went in a, just a decent size. I had to stuff them in, but he went and it was all good. Whammo, uh, the Frisbee golf. Uh, this is a really cool, set that comes apart you, know, you put it back together and it's great for tailgating or you know you could put it in your backyard it has these little little mini discs um on uh, the frisbee golf i took a best offer of 40 bucks and free shipping it did fit in a regional uh box so saved a little bit of money there um, i got this at uh, an auction i think i paid three dollars so good with that Ah, this uh, service center garage. I had this toy when I was a little kid, and I got this at an auction. 
a while ago, probably two, two to three years ago. Uh, and I really hung on to it because I really liked it. Um, had all the great, you know, details. Uh, everything worked. It's complete. Uh, it's just had all, most of its stickers. And it's just a really, really great Hot Wheels toy, but a little bulky. Uh, I don't really do much with the Hot Wheels themselves. Uh, and put it up. It sold within about a day or two. This did go global shipping program for the full price of uh, 80 bucks, and they did pay for shipping uh, as well. Um, had to do a custom box for this and yada yada, but. Um, happy to see that so I got a few real a low ball offers on it um, and just kind of when you when you get offers real right off the bat even if they're low just you, you always hold out for about a you know half a day a day because you never know somebody can always come in and give you give you a better price for the item so all right all right uh, we're, we're into October here Halloween was coming up. I started grabbing some items that I thought would sell. Um, I'm going to start moving my pace a little faster here. Let's see. We are, where are we at? The Bumblebee. Okay. On the Bumblebee, I, Bumblebee, I took a best offer of 50 bucks, And with the free shipping, I got these out of flea market. Um, I believe I paid 5 bucks uh, for both of these out of flea market. Uh, and these sold within about a week, uh, and I got them out, and uh, some somebody got them for for Halloween costume, hopefully. These gel Nimbus, I got these at um, Salvation Army, I think. Uh, probably paid two fifty for these. Uh, took a best offer for thirty five bucks. Uh, plus, they did pay shipping on top of it. Um, so the the A6 gel sell pretty well, so um, they're they're it's a good brand. People like them as long as they're not too beat up and the soles are good. Hey, I at a at a auction. Um, gosh, probably back in the springtime, I got a whole lot of decorations. Uh, these are Halloween decorations from probably the 1970s or so. I remember these as a kid. Uh, this lot sold right away. I put up about 14 lots, and this one sold right away. Uh, I did get uh, $27 uh, plus the free shipping on, on these. Uh, and then about two or three days later, this one sold. Uh, I took a best offer of $21.50 plus free shipping on this. Uh, and I sold a couple others for uh, lower amounts, but... Uh, only really sold about, I think I sold four out of the 14. I was a little bummed, but um, all the, I have Christmas ones. I got a whole stack at an auction for five bucks. Uh, so I'll hold on to them and try again next year. They're, they're easy to stack and they're just, they're just cool. They're great. These uh, Clark's loafers, um, loafers like this for men sell pretty well for me. Um, these loafers uh, sold for thirty dollars plus the shipping, so full price. Uh, somebody paid for these. I got these at, uh, I believe I got these at the Goodwill on a half off. Probably paid um, three fifty for these. These Nike Air Max. Uh, these were in a uh, big bin lot. I got an auction of shoes, uh, and I've actually made a, a good m amount on that. I've sold several pairs. Uh, some of uh, are coming up in this video, but uh, these Air Max uh, took a best offer for 30 bucks. Um, plus, they did pay the flat rate shipping. They probably had uh, maybe a dollar for these. Uh, the, the bin I paid, I think, 10, and there was probably 20 pairs of sneakers in it. Hey, this shell tanker. This is by Ertl. It's a die cast tanker. Really great shape. It just had one little scratchy on the side there, but it's basically still new in box i did get the uh, full uh, 29.99 plus shipping uh, uh full price and shipping on this uh, i got this at auction i paid four dollars for this uh and just you know sitting around it was easy to ship it's ready to go and off it went it took about two to three days to sell this uh big bad bow i got this at a flea market uh, outdoor flea market. It paid three dollars for this. It had the, the bolts with it, uh, and you know thirty dollars plus free shipping. And I actually was lucky to have a box that this fit in. 
uh, made it really easy to get it out the door. The Sony MD Walkman, I got this at a yard sale. Uh, I actually paid five bucks, no, I'm going to say, yeah, five bucks for this. And these these tapes, and then actually there was an, another uh, lot of tapes with it that I'll show you next, and another Sony Walkman, which I've since sold for, I think I got 15 bucks for that. Uh, and this I took a best offer of 55 bucks. Oh, actually, okay, full price plus the free shipping. So somebody jumped on that. And then here are the discs. Uh, it was a 19 discs. Uh, took a best offer of 24.50, and they paid. Uh, I believe they paid media mail shipping for these because uh, they're they're audio recordings. So uh, great, great profit there. Halloween was approaching. Uh, and the holidays are coming up. I actually had bought at a yard sale a large batch of uh, Mr. Potato Heads, uh, probably five or six different lots and stuff. These were uh, two different lots of uh, open in package or complete in package Mr. Potato Heads. And there were the, these two uh, for Easter and then uh, Santa Claus. And then this one had three for Halloween. Uh, so uh, the great thing I got, I did take a best offer, I booked 25 and 26 on these. So the, uh, but the, the buyer was the same person, bought both and paid $10 shipping. So it was about $60 out the door. Um, and, and I believe they were kind of local. So I didn't, I didn't really eat anything on the, uh, on the shipping on that. So, uh, and I paid, I think I got all of them for 10 bucks at a yard sale. And I still have several lots to, uh, to put up. This Minolta, I got this at uh, auction in a box out of camera stuff. Um, this one sold, or took a best offer of $31.50 and free shipping. Uh, this is just a, a in a smaller box. It's a slide copier adapter for a vintage camera. Uh, probably had you know, maybe a dollar into this. I think I paid for the box lot maybe five bucks, and I've since sold a couple different cameras out of that. This midge I got at an auction. I paid two dollars for her. Uh, she's just a, a naked midge doll, but she's from 1963. Great, pretty good shape. Um, you know, somebody probably had the the outfit for her. I uh, took a best offer of twenty nine dollars and twenty five cents, and they had free shipping. Uh, so somebody got a midge. Hey, this rip zone. I got this jacket in with uh, the clothing lot, big clothing lot that I spoke about. Uh, the rip zone, rip zone jacket, uh, rip zone jacket. <laughs> Say that three times. Uh, Took a best offer of ninety dollars even, and they did pay shipping on top of that. Uh, this is a really cool camo jacket. Uh, great details. It's actually for snowboarding, and uh, it's new with tags, so probably had you know a couple dollars in this at the most. I uh, relisted. Uh, I had it bought. Uh, about two years ago, I bought a massive lot of these Kenner mask uh, vehicles and cars and action fit little figures. Um, I, I had put up last year, I put up about 20 lots, different things, and then had another, I think, 15 lots that I recently put up. And uh, I did sell a couple of these. This one is a Thunderhawk vehicle. Um, I took a best offer of 29 bucks. All these, I believe, had free shipping. So $29 for this one. This, uh, the Bulldog, uh, took a best offer of 25 and free shipping. I know they actually paid shipping on that. So 25 and ship in the, in the five. And then this one, I, I actually got the full price, $30, and with the free shipping on those. So those three. I believe I paid. Gosh, I want to, I'm thinking maybe $100, $150, uh, but it was literally, I kind of say maybe 50 to 60, maybe more of these. Um, and I still have quite a bit more uh, to list. It's a pretty popular, people really collect these. They love these little, little mask, Kenner mask um, figures. 
this Magnavox CD player car system. Got this at a yard sale. I think I paid five dollars for this. Uh, I took a best offer of thirty-one dollars and fifty cents plus the calculated shipping on top. Uh, this this had this like base that was a little bit heavy, uh, so it doesn't doesn't um, shock when you're driving, and it was a, pretty much a complete set. Um, so good with that. These Jordans, I got these. I'm pretty sure I got these in the lot uh, with the other Nikes. Uh, these Jordans, I took a best offer of forty bucks. Uh, and the free shipping involved there probably had only a dollar or two into these. Okay, uh, this uh, Hubley, this is a vintage cap gun. Uh, I got this in uh, a lot at auction. I paid up a bit because this came with three other Hubley guns. Uh, one of which I did sell, and two I have yet to list. And it came in a really nice custom made. Somebody had it was like a display case that I really wanted uh, for my business and to use at the flea market. Um, on the Hubley, let's see where are we at? Uh, I took a best off for $25 plus the free shipping on this. I did pay 40 bucks for four of these cap guns, some cap rolls, and the box. So um, I, I'm kind of okay with that. It did have some issues. Uh, you have to be careful when you take pictures of these cap guns on eBay. You can't really show a detail. You have to show the whole gun and you got to have this plug in the end. And you have to be very careful how you list these things. Um, but you see there, there's some some wear on the butt of the gun and so forth. So, anywho, uh, somebody picked that up. And here's another um, pre Halloween. This was about a week before Halloween. Iron Man set uh, took a best offer of 28 bucks uh, plus the shipping. This went pretty close to me, uh, same in, in the same state I'm in. Uh, for somebody for Halloween, I actually pieced these two pieces together. I had had the gauntlet arm piece and I did find um, at, a, at a Goodwill I found this uh, mask that actually math, matched it pretty well so put those two together I probably had a, a, a dollar or two into into that this Dooney and Burke purse I got this at a church sale uh, I got this for three dollars uh, the, the Dooney and Burke purse I took a best offer for 48 bucks plus they paid shipping on top uh, and like I got a few items actually sold very well from that church sale. When you see when you see something at a church and you can get there pretty early, you'd be surprised. You find some pretty good pretty good stuff for pretty cheap, and you know you can always make a donation on top as well. These Birkenstocks, I got these at uh, the Salvation Army on the half off day. I actually found these and several other pairs. I bought I think five pairs of uh, original Birkenstocks. Uh, these green ones, I took a best offer of 35 bucks plus free shipping. And these, I think these were all about $1.50 or $2 because it was half off day. And I got these as well. Uh, these I took a best offer of 30 bucks plus free shipping. And again, probably paid a buck fifty, two bucks for those. The Longi, this espresso machine sat for a little while it was bulky it was given to me again from a friend who had moved she didn't want it anymore uh, and I took um, the long $40 uh, 40 bucks plus free shipping I did eat a bit on that uh, but was willing to uh, let it go move it along I didn't have any any money into it these Merrells, I got these at the Salvation Army uh, half off day. I got these for, I think, three bucks, maybe four bucks, something like that. These did go through the global shipping program in Europe, I believe. Uh, I did take a best offer of 40 bucks, uh, plus the free shipping in there to get them to Kentucky. These boots were uh, also in that big bin lot that I had talked about. These are by Robert Wayne Morris. They're kind of this kind of kind of beetle boot, interesting kind of artsy punk style. Very cool. If you look him up, he's some really 
really cool boots. Um, took a best offer of 40 bucks plus free shipping. These went in a shoebox size, a priority mailbox from the Postal Service. Those are awesome. Uh, so cool boots. Uh, the buyer was happy with them and glad that somebody dug those. I thought they were cool. This Franklin's Dictionary, I got this in a box lot at auction. This uh, probably had 50 cents into this. This dictionary did uh, sold for $35.50 plus free shipping. Uh, and uh, like I said, uh, only, only about less than a dollar. I know it. I got paid, got a box lot for maybe, I think, $3 or something at auction. And this was in there. It was sealed new. Hey, this Ryobi. I got this a couple weeks ago uh, when it was my first time going to the Weigh and Pay or the Bins, the Goodwill Outlet Center, where you pay by the pound. This Ryobi, I probably paid maybe 30, 40 cents for it. Uh, I took a best offer of $35 uh, plus free shipping. Uh, so a little bit off the top for shipping, but this is the first thing I've sold from. Uh, from the bins so uh pretty happy with the stuff i've got there you know um, you can you can find some find some stuff ah the dark knight these are just some really cool pop out wings uh for a kid it's kind of like a backpack style they they expand and you kind of pull them back in really really cool uh, i took a best offer on these uh, $45 plus free shipping these did go through the global shipping program kind of a pain in the pack uh, but was able to you know get them there safely and, and off they went so I paid five bucks at a flea market for these they were like brand new it looked like no one had ever used them hey this Trojans I got this at a uh, Salvation Army half off I probably paid two 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 fifty for this this sold right away. This sold within a few hours of listing it. Uh, took a best offer of 33 bucks, uh, so full price uh, and and the free shipping. So off it went. I think it did actually go to to USC or that area. Hey, Eye of the Storm. This is one of those kind of funky touch plasma balls that you know there was a store Spencer gifts I used to go in as a kid we used to play with these and I always wanted one well I found one at the yard sale I got it for three dollars uh, and this one's really cool you can you know touch it with your hand and it moves it does all this cool stuff it's just it's, if you're into electricity and science and stuff it's really cool um, anywho uh, this sold on, on Halloween actually uh, for eighty dollars flat with free shipping it did go pretty local uh, it was just a pain to pack uh, but it did get there okay i did get good feedback and i'm glad somebody enjoyed it i had it for I had it for halloween a couple of years and it, it's a cool thing but you know you can't keep all your cool things you'll you'll run out of space this roadmaster got this at a uh, auction uh, i think i got this for maybe three or four dollars um, the radio I took a best offer of 35 bucks plus free shipping uh, and it was sealed it was actually well had a little in the plastic it was never used or open I had a little plastic wear here or there but vintage radio in the plastic I mean how could you go wrong okay guys we're in the home stretch here we have a couple more items to go I'll try to I know I'm over a half hour I'll try to finish this up as quick as I can okay here's one here's the Dallas Cowboys this is one of the jackets that I bought along with the Golden State one that I showed earlier this jacket again I paid about eleven dollars for it I took a best offer of 55 bucks plus free shipping uh, this did go in a um, flat rate uh, medium flat rate box to Texas of course uh, so off that went on the Buxton, uh, so I put this because it's a smaller sale, but I think 50 cents for this at a flea market, uh, just kind of in a back box. But when you see the uh, Buxton's actually decent, um, it, it's a good vintage brand, has Buxton leather, jewelry boxes. I've sold that before, so 
something to look out for. And I took best offer of 20 bucks for this uh, with the free shipping. It, it was only a few ounces uh, off it went. This I got at an auction. I was, I think it was brand new. Wasn't sure. Uh, did 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 need the the butane, I believe, to sensor lighter in the box. Uh, took a best offer of 28 bucks plus free shipping. I think I paid yeah, a couple bucks for this at an auction. Big mouth Billy Bass this is one of those talking fish that's in someone's like man cave. Gotten these. There's I had two of these. They both sold for full price. I did have free shipping in it. Um, I got both for five bucks at an auction. They're brand new in the box. So that's uh, 30, uh, what is that? Yeah, 36 times, two times. Sold both of them within about a day or two of each other. Yes, you can sell a bowling ball and ship it. Uh, I got this bowling ball at auction. I paid three fifty, maybe four bucks for it. Um, the bowling ball, I took a best offer of $47 and 50 cents. Uh, I did have free shipping. It did go coast to coast, but I sent it FedEx uh, and FedEx did it for, I believe with my discount, it's around 14 bucks, something like that. So, uh, out of the 47.50, the chops a little bit into it, but you know, I did make a, make a little money there and off it went. Um, someone that likes Budweiser in their man cave, or maybe they'll use it, they'll drill it and use it to bowl with all right this wilson's jacket i got this at a yard sale uh i got this and a uh, barbie princess's bicycle for ten dollars um the bicycle i tried to sell at the flea market it, it didn't sell i ended up actually donating it um that that about a week ago i donated it to the goodwill and um i, I did take a tax you know you get a tax write off for the things you donate so but this leather jacket, um, let's see, what did I get for that? Uh, $40, uh, best offer, plus the free shipping. It did fit in a uh, one of those, I believe, the, the uh, um, shoebox from the priority, priority mail. So, anywho, glad, glad it was like a MacGyver type jacket. Pretty good quality, Wilson's leather. This is another pair, uh, this pair of shoes. I had bought up a whole bunch of sporting goods at auction. Uh, the sneakers, these are new in box. They're kind of new old stock. These are cool as they have the remo removable spikes. I believe I paid no more than $5 for these at the auction. Um, I took a best offer of 40 bucks plus free shipping. The box fits in the shoe box size, priority box. It's, it's great, it slides right in and off it goes. These jeans, I think I got these at the Goodwill on the half off. I probably paid maybe $2 for these. Um, let's see, the Levi's, I took a best of of $35 plus for free shipping. Um, and, and off those went. Armada, I got these in that big clothing line I spoke about. Uh, these are probably had less than maybe a dollar in the hoodie. I had this up for a couple months. I took a best offer of $45. Plus the free shipping, it did fit into, uh, I believe it did fit into a, a flat rate priority mail, if I'm not mistaken. This is cool. It's a, it, it, it's this kind of snowboarding style hoodie. It's pretty, pretty loud, but nobody's going to miss you coming down the mountain in that. All right, the talk boy. I got this in a, a lot of, uh, it was actually in a lot of, uh, cassette players and I thought this was some kind of funky you know cassette player and it is but it's actually from the movie Home Alone he uh, when he disguises his voice I added in this uh, blank cassette that I used to test with it uh, and the talk boy let's see I did get the full price on this the so $65 from free shipping this did go global shipping program so uh, I, it did go in I think a flat rate to uh, Kentucky I probably had maybe a dollar or two into it. This metal mallet is a very cool item. It um, it's made of metal and wood, and it's it's just really kind of cool, really cool looking, cool prop. Or you could use it um, if you're into metal working, metal smith, woodworking, whatever. Um, I paid five bucks for this at an auction. Um, and the hammer took a best offer of 45 uh, and they did pay shipping on that. I think I got this into a regional box. 
maybe a regional A or B, I can't remember. Uh, so off that went. This is really cool. I'll we'll miss that piece, but can't hold on to everything cool. And last but not least, guys, this is a Disney Store Tigger Varsity Jacket. I got this out of Salvation Army on a half-off day. I probably paid uh, 2 to $3 for this. And I took a best offer of $63. It did have the free shipping. I think this would fit into the uh, shoe, uh, shoe box size roll of priority mail. And uh, that's it, guys, for, for this update for about the last two months. So uh, this wasn't all my sales, but some of the better ones I wanted to share with you. Thanks for watching. And uh, let me know if you liked the video. And uh, check out Horizon Picks on eBay. Thanks so much. Have a good one.